If he made a conspiracy movie about pro football, it would have to be about Super Bowl III, the most intriguing, inexplicable upset in NFL history. Harry Wisman, in his farewell address to the nation. And advertising dollars is new in the American experience. We must guard against the unwanted complex. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberty or democratic principles. They called it a merger, but we're talking about a coup d'etat, gentlemen. LBJ, the Cubans, Artie Donovan, NASA. If the first two Super Bowls proved anything, it was how much money could be made if they brought the AFL and NFL together. But to make a merger appear legitimate, the AFL had to beat the NFL in a Super Bowl. The conspiracy filtered down from the highest reaches of power. It all came together at Super Bowl III. SB3. They were all there. Roselle, Davis, Kennedy, Lombardi, Hoover. It was a turkey shoot, gentlemen. The Colts were set up. But who really lost SB3? Was it the Colts who went down? Or was it the American people? Was it Liberty herself? They had a patsy to take the fall for them. He was Alex Hawkins, a man who was anonymous enough, bad enough, and who hated playing football enough to do it. It was kind of like punishment, it was right embarrassing, because, you know, Artie Dunham didn't even know my last name, and I played with him three years. Uh, uh, nobody knew who I was. But remember, Donovan was Hoover's man in Baltimore, and they had more dirt on Hawkins than you'd believe. In 1966, the Colts announced that he'd been traded to the Atlanta Falcons, but he doesn't appear in a single frame of the Falcons highlight film, and the only evidence that he ever was in Atlanta is this publicity photo. But you'll notice, gentlemen, that there is a long late afternoon shadow on his body while his face is miraculously shadow-free, suggesting that the photograph may have been doctored. So where was Hawkins in 1966? This photograph may help tell us. Why is Hawkins having dinner at the Hyatt Havana with Nikita Khrushchev, Al Davis, J. Edgar Hoover, Fidel Castro, Vince Lombardi, Pete Rosell, and Colts owner Carol Rosenblum? A year later, isn't it curious that Hawkins is back in Baltimore with the Colts, the only time in NFL history that a man was traded back to his original team within one year? Did they get Hawkins back because he was so good? No. They got him precisely because he was the worst special teams player in history, and he was being trained as the single punt blocker who would cost his team the Super Bowl. But Rosenblum and Shula became convinced that Hawkins could not be trusted. So they set Hawkins up in a sting operation with Hoover and Burt Bell Jr., the confidant of Pete Rozelle. Now, Hawkins had to play the patsy or do 10 years hard time. No charges were ever filed. So, the anointed day finally arrives, gentlemen, SB3. Shula pays an inordinate amount of attention to a seldom-used player named Alex Hawkins. The deal goes down in the first quarter. The Colts use Hawkins as the single punt blocker. But instead of blocking the punt, Hawkins has been secretly ordered to commit a penalty that costs Baltimore an easy score and leads to the Jets' only touchdown of the game. In what has become known as the single punt blocker theory, the Lamar Hunt Commission concluded that Hawkins truly tried to block the punt. But look, when the single punt blocker reaches this position, everyone knows he's supposed to go forward and to the right. Alex Hawkins went back and to the left. 
back and to the left, back and to the left. After the game, there was no trophy presentation. Say, Joe, what do you think about Miami cops whisked Joe Namath away before he could give an honest comment on the game, while Alex Hawkins was last seen unconscious on the sideline, even though he was never in a collision on the field. He was just the patsy, gentlemen, a spare part in an engine of conspiracy that defeated the Colts and imposed upon us a merger, an unholy alliance that has made the Super Bowl the most profitable sporting event of our time.